Hey everyone, it's Jennifer Roberts here, and I am the Pod Queen. Back with me again, Matt Gilman. What's up? Singer, songwriter, artist, rock star, future <laughs> author. <laughs> okay, yes. No pressure there. That's amazing, right? Amazing. I just, Thank you. I just called it out. So <laughs> I, I received the prophecy. I know. <laughs> so today I want to talk to Matt a little bit about how to write songs. And I'm personally interested because Matt knows that I am a musician. Oh, the best. Yeah. Because I play triangle, electric, and acoustic. Yes, you rock that air electric. (laughs) It's my favorite. The air electric. (laughs) Yeah, that's good. So I'm actually not musical at all. And I don't know if you know this, but in my music class in fourth grade, I actually failed recorder. You know, recorder is like, it's supposed to be the easiest (laughs) instrument. Everyone's supposed to be able to do it. That's why they teach that. I, didn't I know, failed. I didn't know you could fail a recorder. I did. I oh, failed it. Oh, wow, Jen. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, so that's okay. I've learned to live with my <laughs> deficits. And so here you are. Here I You're am. You're making up for it. Yes. <laughs> so um, maybe I'm not your target audience when we're talking about how to write a song. Okay. Well, that <laughs> takes pressure off me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you produce you know, something great in me, you would be like right here. <laughs> you would be the ultimate. So, but for, for someone else... What is the process by which you begin to write a song? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I don't have a formula or a science mm-hmm. to it. You know, and um, we talked about, you know, just in the context of worship with the word, a lot of things in the context of a house of prayer uh-huh. format just kind of come out spontaneously. And a right. lot of the songs I've written have come out in the context of a house of prayer. Um, and some songs I really have to labor for. Um, yeah. And that's, um, you know, sitting down at the piano mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the thing that I have found to be the most effective in that context is just to be diligent with a schedule for songwriting. Oh, so good. I'm going to block out four days a week, uh-huh. an hour each of those days, and I'm going to sit down at the piano, or maybe it's two hours, but I'm going to sit down at the piano with my Bible in front of me, mm-hmm. write down my thoughts, get some melodies, get some chord progressions, and sometimes after two hours, nothing happens. Uh-huh. And sometimes after two hours, I can write three songs. And so, wow. okay. um, and so just, you know, if the inspiration is there, um, that's, you know, Makes obviously, it easier. yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. But then, but at the end of the day, if, if you don't get a, a hit song at the end of two hours, at least you were meditating in the word yeah, and you were singing good. the word back. Um, and so then there's no fail in that. There's no fail. Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't ever want to feel the pressure to like, I don't want to write a song just because it works or just because it's a formula that, you know, is going to, you know, create a, emotional manipulation of people you know like I want a song to be written out of a place of encounter and revelation in the word Mm -hmm. and just the knowledge of Jesus and so um, and then there's also a way that I would consider cheating (laughs) but um, I've gotten a couple of my songs um, in dreams Um, my song I know it's cheating so, yeah, but but ask for dreams, honestly, That's like excellent. for real. Ask for dreams. Ask for dreams. I'm gonna ask for dreams. Do it, do it. <laughs> ask for divine right. inspiration, divine melodies, divine lyrics. Um, yeah. My song "Closer" actually came. I actually had the melody and I, I sang the first line of it in a dream. And I woke up after the first line of the song and I sang the second line awake. And I went to my piano and I wrote the song in ten minutes. It was Seriously? just yeah, it was just like a holy moment. That's and so amazing. yeah, and so I wouldn't say there's a there's a specific formula for any one person as to how to do it. Yeah. The point is just set in your heart to do it yeah, and get good. before the Lord, play your instrument, or if you don't play an instrument, sing a cappella. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. What I like that you just hit is, because as a non-musician, I'm thinking it's all just magical and inspiration and ambiguous. Right. But you, you said, actually, it's hard work. You still have yeah, to be sometimes, diligent. For sure. So it's... I wonder if there are people out there sitting going, oh, it just comes. Because, yes, it just comes. So yeah. sometimes you get a dream. Yeah. But you still have to put effort into it. For sure. So For that's sure. critical. For sure. And then I also think that there's power in collaboration as well. Yeah. Like working with other people. Yeah. Like if you have an idea, bring it to other people that you trust. Uh-huh. I mean, that requires a lot of humility because yeah. they might say, hey, I don't I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you yeah, got to be yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Um, but actually bringing it to people that you trust and who are also musicians to actually take your idea and make it awesome. And with their own ideas and their own interpretation of it. And so that's something that I've gotten more into the last year or two, yeah. is working with other people to write songs together. But too. you've never really talked to me about that. Well, you've been in Brazil and I've been in Florida. And it's just been, you know, the uh-huh. communication hmm. thing. Interesting. We both have <laughs> iPhones, Matt. Message me. Let's talk about the songs that we're going to write together. Should I, should I go? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
maybe yes. Yeah. yeah. The video, th this interview is officially over. <laughs> so, you know, just in summary, so I heard you say, meditate in the Word. Absolutely. Sit before the Lord. Yes. Diligence. Yes. Just pound it out. Schedule it. Yes. That was critical for me as a non-musician. Schedule it. Yeah. Amazing. Totally. And then ask for dreams. So ask for the supernatural help yeah. because God wants songs written. He wants to release songs. I yeah. think there's a storehouse of songs in heaven yeah. waiting to be released. And That's so good. We man. just need to ask for it. That's exciting. You guys, get into this. This is exciting. I want the songs that the Lord has to release yeah. released all over the nations. Amen. So. I appreciate you for really taking the time to do that. Oh, that's that's what my friend and I think. We're both musicians. Come totally. on, write songs. <laughs> you need to hire Jen for your next conference. <laughs> <laughs> so the pod queen thinks. Amen.